Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Neil and today we're checking out the Two Notes Captor X Twin Tracker feature and we're going to be using the Zoom R20 which is a portable recording studio as an interface into Logic. Let's go. Okay guys, so this is a long overdue demo for me. I've known about the Two Notes Captor X having the Twin Tracker feature for quite a while now. I've never used it up until now, but I should have done really because this would half my workload and will also half your workload as well. Basically, when you lay guitar tracks for an album, a track or whatever, and you lay one track and then you lay another and sometimes you might even lay four tracks the Twin Tracker will allow you to just lay one track and it will pull the other track slightly out of phase. Basically what the Twin Tracker does is enable you as a guitarist to record just one track and have one panned right and one panned left rather than have to record one right and then record the other one left. To do this you will need to connect your interface with two XLR outs which come out of the back of the Two Notes Captor X and then they will go into your interface as you can see here. You need to then pan one hard left and one hard right. When you connect your Two Notes Captor X via USB into your Mac or PC. When you click on the Two Notes app inside there, you will be able to select Twin Tracker on or off. You need to select that on. And then at the bottom, there's a tightness control, which you can move up and down. And this pulls your guitars in and out of phase, depending on how loose you want them or how tight you want them. I've set this to about 5% on this demo because I like my guitars nice and tight. The settings for the Two Notes Captor X, including the cabs that I've used, the mics, the positions, and everything will come on the screen as you are watching this demo. I've used the Hughes & Kettner cab pack inside the Two Notes Captor X, which you can download from the Two Notes store. Like I said, the settings are on the screen for you all to see. I'm going to do some more demos using the Zoom R20 as a standalone recorder, but just for now I thought I'd use it and integrate it in this demo as an interface. In this demo there is one guitar left and one guitar right and that is it. There's no drums, no mix, no nothing because I really want you to hear what the Two Notes Captrets can do when it's in Twin Tracker mode. I am using my Brandon Ellis Jackson, which is going straight into my EVH behind me as you can see there. That will be on the red channel. That will be going straight into the Two Notes Captor X. So let's get on with it. Let's keep it short and sweet. We want to know what the Twin Tracker sounds like and whether it does the desired effect that we require. I'm really impressed with it, but I want to know what you guys think. Let me know below in the comments what you think of the Twin Tracker and whether you think it's any good or whether it's a gimme. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all soon.